this as in what's your thoughts, <coughs> questions, concerns, ideas? I'm all ears. <laughs> well, I don't know, Ted, what are you thinking? Well, what I'm thinking? Okay. Yeah, I, I think from past experiences that we should go over to sleep. Slave group was on there for a hundred years, had no problems. Mm -hmm. The only problem they had was the meals. The meals were on there. In fact, if somebody would have been smart, I think they should have taken all the slates off and just replaced them with new nails. Instead mm -hmm. of getting a whole new one. Because there was nothing wrong with the slates themselves. Mm -hmm. Until it fell and broke, I'm sure. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, that's, that's part of the question, but I mean, I remember the, the theme that I was hearing was a lot from a good chunk of the public that said, uh, I think we should go back out to bid, right? Now, I had, um, based on that, I had some questions too, because mm -hmm. Margaret was kind enough to hand us this um, um, report for October 29th. Mm -hmm. And I um, was going through this and it brought up some questions that I'm not sure if we have the information, but I'm going to ask it. And yep. If we've got it already, then great. Mm -hmm. But one of the things that was uh, suggested is that we go out and hire a, um, an architect mm -hmm. to do an assessment on the building. And I would have thought that during the project that that would have been done. Because I know that they hired uh, Dennis Myers and um, mm -hmm. the old stone engineering and Jeff. And I know Jeff did provide you know, something to us. They did but a structural report, I think. Yep. Right? I, that, that, what they were recommending is that we have them draw up the RFP. Not them who? The architect. Have the, these three, they gave us three names. No, no, I saw that, but um, I was just going through this, and what I'm, where I'm going is the town or someone paid Myers, Millstone, and Frexel, I'm assuming, to, to do something. And I would assume that in that there would have been reports, because they were getting, mm -hmm. going forward. So do we have those reports? Why would we want to go hire another architect if we already have that information? To, to I didn't. I didn't raise this issue, but I believe what people said was the RFP should be written by an architect. We do have the reports, and they've been provided to the selectmen, and they're on the the project's website. So okay, yeah. yeah, I don't think there was any discussion about hiring an architect to do more. Of anything except write the, the RFP. RFP. Yeah, the architect, I think, came from this document here, which I th think it's. Um, this, I'm not sure where this that's, originated. That's the excerpts of them that. Oh, this is the excerpts. Yeah, this yep. is where the architect was mentioned. Mm -hmm. This here. I know it was on one of these papers. Yeah. You see the three names. Yep, I see that. So, so anyway, that's why I was wondering. So we have all of that information already. So why would we hire another architect to go do another study? It's that's not. That's a good study. It's not the study. To write up an RFP. RFP, yes. Okay. Uh, and we do have copies of those. I think I've got an electronic. I don't know what it is that they were pretty detailed. And the okay. selectmen didn't take. I think they left you. The selectmen left the committee to review it and approve it, and then they asked for a signature. So we have those. All right. No, we have it. So I mean, we we don't need to do that again. Right. So the so the the mission would then be to hire somebody to uh, put together an RFP. Now, if we put together another RFP, is it an RFP for metal, or is it an RFP for both? I don't think it'd be for both because we still haven't made a decision which direction we're going. Because we, you know, personally, I don't think we got a lot of feedback from the residents on which direction to go, and they probably didn't give us the feedback because they probably thought we didn't have enough information to give them to make a, a suggestion. Right. Well, I don't disagree with some of that. Yeah, I'm sure. That, I mean, that's the, the gist that I. The, the perception I receive. And, uh, yeah. So, what would you like to do? Are you thinking we should hire an architect to put together an RFP and go back out? I don't know. And, and I don't know what that would cost to hire an architect. I don't know. I don't either. I don't know if you can do it for 800 bucks, but. I think we have folks prices. Yeah, we have names of folks. There's three names well, there's that were three given that have been saved. Just to hear from Right. right. <coughs> yeah. Somewhere in one of these things. Yeah, the excerpt from this. Yes. Right here. Yeah. Yeah, Iron Horse, Therian Roofers, 
I don't think we should go to Tarian roofers. Tarian roofers, are they're just they're roofers. They're they're like companies, that. yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, Dennis Myers. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. Geotech from Huntington and David White in Boston. So you've got three that you can hear that you can take. Yeah. Or if you have somebody else. I mean, it costs nothing, I guess, to contact these folks and find well, out they don't charge. Yeah. It doesn't do that. Um, if that's the direction we want to go. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, it matters, but... Well, I'm kind of... I like to know what the condition of the roof is in now. I mean, we're getting the cold weather, but we've had a lot of rain. Um, I don't know. I think it's hard to assess it from the inside, personally, but... If you had somebody with a drone, you could just fly them over. That's true. Drones are being used for that today, so. Yeah. Do you know of anybody? You know? I do not, but I'm sure if we look, we can find somebody. Savvy. You know anybody with a drone? Call ISIS. Yeah. Good tip. Fly the car. Uh, like, oh, anybody else know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, you know, Jeff. <laughs> <fun. coughs> You'd be shocked if he goes out in the car and has one on. Yeah, I would be. Yeah. <laughs> That's a problem solved there. Yeah. Um, I don't know, Brian. Uh, um, you're right. <coughs> integrity of the roof is a big question today. Brian? Yes. Sure. Go ahead. Well, we had an engineer speak uh, at the public hearing, and he spoke to the fact that it may not be structurally sound for this. So maybe we, you know, rather than go full speed ahead on the project, that's going to cost us a lot of money and might do more damage, which the last one did, why well, wouldn't we uh, look into this the structural uh, work that needs to be done? And I think you could get some information by going up inside the building and looking from underneath versus above, from above. Uh, and. And also, as far as, as getting a uh, an engineer, uh, a, rather an architect to, to write up an RFP, mm -hmm. that might also be worth a few dollars versus just pissing away like eighty thousand dollars. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. we're, we're talking. Last week we were complaining for two hours about a copy machine, and now we're just you know we don't care about the whole roof. It's the well, integrity of the whole building. Yeah, my, my concern is more with the whole building, Brian. Yeah. If we're going to hire um, an architect or whatever, maybe it's not an architect that you need, but whatever mm -hmm. it is that we need. I mean, to, if, if we're going to hire somebody, we should look at the whole building. Because you mm -hmm. and I and Ted have walked around that. We know oh, that yeah. the outside's in disrepair. Yes, it is. You know, the exterior of the building needs repair. There's uh, damaged mm -hmm. wood that's, you know, showing signs of water damage. Um, the AD, columns, yeah, the yeah. ADA ramp that's out there, I think it's a wooden ramp, isn't mm -hmm. it? Right? Yes. Is that wooden in right now? Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. So, I mean, you have the potential there for splinters, I think it should be metal, you know, a nice ADA ramp. Uh, this vent out on the front of that building on the uh, porticos, it's in yeah. you know, pretty tough shape. Oh, yeah, uh, the building needs paint. I'm not sure about the windows. I think, I don't know if those are all vinyl. They, they are. are they? Inserts, yeah. So, they may or may not need work. Uh, the egress. Mm -hmm. from all of the exits for that building you know, to make sure that they're adequate. Um, are there walkways needed? Because I don't know where the egress is in the winter time over there and do they plow the, the lawn? Mm -hmm. So you have one egress out of that building. Yeah, yeah, I think they clean the south. I think they clean the south side. Do they? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I, I don't think last winter when we were poking around over there trying to find that septic system, there was nothing shovels that I could see. No septic systems in the middle I of the field. Yeah. But there was nothing coming from this parking lot or any parking yeah, lot. Yeah, this is the north side, the south side's on the other side. Yeah, but I didn't see any shoveling. I don't know. No. Yeah. Um, Pardon? It's not the AC, done. You know, the AC it's unit. Well, when we hang the Christmas wreaths, they're taken down. We have to wear snowshoes. Yeah, yeah, you have to wear snow. I mean, that's my recollection also. I never go to the library, so I don't have time, so I couldn't tell you. Yeah, um, AC unit needs to be lifted. I know we've yeah. talked about that so That should be done by now, right? Can we ask to get that done a couple of times? No, I got, um, so I think I got a quote. Okay. Yeah, quote? Okay. Yeah, and then the last thing I had was parking lot lighting. You know, we've been mm -hmm. talking about that for this building, but the whole common here, mm -hmm. you know, we have public egress is an issue. Um, at night, mm -hmm. 
and it's darker than dark here. So I have a whole list of things that I think mm -hmm. if we're going to do an evaluation over there, there's more than just that roof. True. The roof's all in one piece. Yes, it is. It's a nice yeah. list, but can we start with one thing at a time? Mm -hmm. Oh, a yeah. No, we can. But, on the roof. but my point is, if we're going to hire someone to come in and do that evaluation, it's not an evaluation, it's, it's to, to write up an RFP. If that's what we're going to do. I'm, I'm just yeah, yeah. You know, putting another idea on the table. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, can we take maybe maybe you can do it with that big thing and walk through Maybe you can do it with that same step. I don't know. I doubt it. <laughs> I don't with my pockets. I don't know that. But the bottom line is those are things that, you know, you can walk around the building and you can see them. They need to be addressed. Yep. Because water alone is not your friend. No, it is not. No. But it starts going from the top. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, it does. No, and that's fine. If that's where the focus is going to remain, I'm okay with it. But I'm just right. saying it's, it's bigger than that. Mm -hmm. Oh, absolutely. Barn doesn't start rotting until the roof starts leaking. Once this roof starts leaking, that's when your barn starts coming. Oh, yeah, no, the whole structure will be compromised. That's what I don't want to hear that at all. Yeah, you need a, a good foundation and a good roof. Yep. Mm -hmm. Everything else in between. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Well, then, yeah. Um, to find out what it costs to have a formal RFP, I guess. Go both ways. Um, metal and uh, that's slate. Uh, like, you know, it would be nice to be able to take and get this thing done and just you know, pop our plate, but I have a feeling that if we move forward now, we'll probably end up biting us in the butt. So maybe I, going back up a bit may not be a bad idea. But let's find out, what the, I agree with Tom, let's find out what the cost is first. I mean, it's going to yeah. cost us half the roof just to get an RFP made. Yeah, I know. That's why, that's why I don't know. I have yeah. no idea what it costs to have. Something like that done. Oh, you can do the three telephone quotes. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, not to put out a formal RFP for no. it, but no. make some inquiries. Mm -hmm. the names. Yeah. Um, if you have any questions on exactly what we're looking for, you can always call Jeff Trexler. And, I mean, he seems to be well versed in exactly what he was, knowing what he was talking about, uh, so he might be able to help mm -hmm. you know, set the criteria that you know, to ask these folks. Well, I would think that some of that information that we had in the RFP is Jeff allowed us to use his yeah. sketches and drawings. Well, no, I don't have to, but kind of you know, looked over. Just off a, a, a good amount of stuff that I, I wasn't able to capture it all in my notes and yep. my brain here. So, uh, well, some yeah. of it might even be in this um, document True. here as you look at it. Well, I mean, far as for, you know, as far as asking for telephone quotes on the, yeah. at the architect's level. Yeah, kind of have a holistic. See what they would need yeah. for me to put a good right. RFP together. Well, and also what we need to you know to ask them to see what they would price it out. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, we can ask Jeff to help with those criteria. You know, it's like ask them, you know, what's yeah, the cost for this, 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 and this. Because you know, what we're yeah. looking for, I guess, is a spec. Let's look at it. I'm trying to have those quotes for next Thursday. Personally? Any other thoughts on it? Huh? I think what they're looking for is the scope yeah. of what they would have to do for the RFP. What they? Right. We need for scope. And I'd get that from Jeff. Mm -hmm. Could. Yeah, I'm sure you could. Yeah, okay, because that's what the architect is going to ask you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to want to know what you want. Okay. And I think what they want is a step for a roof in that building. To get down the documentation, you know, right. so they can be able to put out an RFP. Put out an RFP. You know, we can give them our language and everything like that, and you probably can incorporate it. Yeah, well, the boilerplate, I don't think, is what we're looking for. We're looking no. for the documentation. Well, no, they can just incorporate it for the with the spec. Yeah, for what the roof needs to be. So we're looking for a finished product right. that we can actually just put out there and yeah. go for and be happy. He said, what, 600 to... We'll see. Less than a thousand. That sounds awfully yeah, cheap to me. Six to eight or something. Yeah. yeah. It comes to mind. Yeah. I hope it's that cheap. It sounds awfully low. Well. 
Yeah. You also want to tell how roof. No. So what's the stuff that you have that you, you know you brought a lot of valid points on the town hall? Yeah, what about it? We'll have to put that together, that list, so we can put it, you know, incorporate it into the budget for next sure. year. Sure. Yeah. Under the general government building, so we can start picking away at that list. Yep. And we might not get everything done, but, you know, at least... <coughs> Probably have to get some quotes for... Mm -hmm. Three quotes for that. For what? For those that work to be done. For this? Mm -hmm. Well, I think what, you know, what we have to do is prioritize it. I mean, yeah. I wrote down a bunch of things that are pretty it's obvious to me. Mm -hmm. But then I guess it's prioritization as to what's most important. You know the guy that worked on our air conditioner in our office when it failed. He's the one that pointed out that that should be raised. Yeah, and I did, did that uh, when we were putting the, the spring of the garden. Club. Yeah, and I and I asked him to Choose give me a quote of what it would cost. And, and now that you've mentioned it, he's never responded. So he did fix one project, mm -hmm. but he never responded as to okay. any interest right. for raising it. So again, uh, uh, Tom Casano's got uh, his That's company does that, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, but he didn't do that machine over there, I don't think. No. No. That was some, some other company, right? Right, but it's on the same equipment. Yeah, yeah, same, yeah I'm sure you could do it. Yeah. Give him a yeah. always give him a call and see what they're doing for. Yeah. The other guy, um, you know, after <coughs> the other guy, too. Are we looking for a carpentry thing? To, like a wooden... No, I would say something or like or cement or granite block. But it actually hangs off the building. Or yeah. maybe hang it off the building. I don't know. How are they on this building? They're hung, yeah. but they're small. Well, that's they're a big, hung. big unit. They, they got rackets that they yeah. it sits on. Right. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. that's a real big yeah. unit. Isn't it the size of, uh, like, the table? Yeah, it's still good size, yeah. I don't know if it's, it's, any, I don't know if it's, it's any bigger than this. It's about this deep and about that yeah. long. Yeah. About three, three, three and a half feet. Yeah, yeah. I have no idea what the thing weighs. Yeah. I mean, even if they put a... Um, you know, a simple little uh, stand underneath it, you know, simple angle iron. Yeah, I don't think I'd go stand. with wood though. Yeah. Yeah. Metal yeah. or stone. Yeah, it's either some type of hanging hanger. Yeah, hanging hang it off the building. I mean, those guys would have a better idea. They, yeah. they, they, they do it all the time. All they want. So okay. ask them for their best recommendation for getting that thing elevated. Yep. Yeah. Long as it doesn't pull out of the building. Yeah. Well, that'd be a whole other problem. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you saw some deciding from now. I'm sure I might see it somewhere live. Alright. Yeah, I'll um, formalize that list and get it over there. I don't think I saved it. Um, we going to the town hall? Yes. Anything else you want to add to the town hall? No, we've got a question in the crowd. I just have a question on process. Sure. Say um, Lean finds out that the architect's going to cost $700 to put together an RFP. Does that mean that you'll go forward with an RFP? If the architect costs $1,800, does that mean you don't want to go forward with an RFP? I'm a little confused about where we where the process is. We haven't is drawn the line in the sand but, you know, on that because we don't know what the costs are going to come in. We're, going yeah. to, we're just putting feelers out and let's get some information and we can debate it some more. Okay, so there's really been no decision about no. what direction you're going to go. No, and, and I think you had to wait against what we, we anticipate the cost to be. Mm -hmm. If the cost are based off of what we already know, we're in the six, mid 60s or so, mm -hmm. up. So it's going to have to be some percentage of that, I'm guessing. And, you know, they'll have to decide how much of that, you know, you're willing to spend. What percentage of that money. Mm -hmm. And if it seems like it's too much money, then you'll go with the. The two bids on slate and the one bid on metal that you've got. Not necessarily. Well, I don't know. Okay. Well, that, I guess that's. I'm yeah. trying to figure out what's the decision here. Right now, the decision is mm -hmm. to go to look at hiring an architect. Bid for an RP, and depending, right. I would think, depending on what the results are, uh, we could do one or two, you know, a couple of things. You know, go with the architects. We could take and redo the RP ourselves again if it's too much, or we could accept the, the bids we currently have. Unless there's another a fourth option that you guys can think of. No. Well, if we were going to redo the RFP, because there was a question about dimensions in the building, we got those numbers from the previous. But, um, you know, the slate is slate. It's Vermont slate. It know, is what it is. It doesn't matter where you go. Then it's just a question of the installer. But the metal, I think, could have been a better choice. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that choice that was in here was horrible. 
Yeah. Um, I wasn't put on the house. I mean, it was, so I, I agree. The, the choice for the metal, horrible. There is some metal out there that works. Oh, there's better metals. Really no, yeah. I, I know. That's I cool. also have an issue with it being Tamco, the same company that we yeah. took lawsuit against. So that was kind of. I wasn't going to say that. That's but a bad no. choice. But we, but we didn't have a choice there either. That was what was offered. But they make a lot of the metal roofs. Yeah, they do. Yeah, but there are other, there are alternatives. There are to alternatives, that. right? And I, I don't necessarily know that we picked aluminum, but that's what was offered. Uh, you know, no one offered steel or any other type of metal. Um, so yeah, but I'd be opposed to resoliciting if we have to. Because I don't think there's anything really wrong with the RFP. I think what was wrong was the um, quality of what we got back, yeah. mm -hmm. and not enough of it. So the RFP, I mean, even you know, as everybody was talking about that RFP last week, uh, it was mostly mm -hmm. some of the verbiage in there they weren't happy with. They they clearly were more interested in metal roof, but what we had to offer was terrible. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, I think for those reasons, you know, going back out, is, you know, we if we don't hire some of the right RFP. We should redo it ourselves. Maybe you know, take a harder look at what can go into an RFP for metal. Mm -hmm. I think we gave it a harder look, quite honestly, in the okay. slate because one of the issues we got Vermont slate, so we specified mm -hmm. Vermont slate, and you know we had Bob uh, Martell helped us with a lot of that. So the um, interest on metal, I think we might have taken some of that for granted that yeah. metal's metal, and now mm -hmm. we've learned that you know it's not. And that piece that was here, the argument was horrible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm not opposed to going back out for that. But if we have mm -hmm. to do our own lager, we'll. And you know what? It'll help us. Yeah. Well, that's not my expertise, but I no, think Jack certainly <laughs> has us. a lot of expertise, yeah. and yeah. we ought to tap. Yeah. You know, if he's yeah. 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 I mean, yeah, we 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 put a. I think we put a really good effort mm -hmm. into it. You know, but hindsight is great in. You think about it, and we're like, okay, maybe we could do something different. But it's not our expertise. But it's either. not our we're expertise either. We're not either. procurement yeah. officers or you know, we're looking remember. for, you know, inputs. When we did the RFPs for the architects and the construction manager, I, I can't remember whether, I can't remember how that was done. It certainly wasn't done by the committee. Um, yeah, I'm sure. <coughs> it's, unless you do deal with that on a daily right. basis. It's not, it's not our yeah. job. It's, yeah. So we don't know. Yeah. We're doing yeah. the best we can. I think we use sort of a basic template because mm -hmm. you know this is stuff that's pretty standard, and yeah, then we, it, we uh, uh, tweaked it for yeah. specific. Well, I don't think the words yeah. was so much the problem as it was the response we got, yeah. or the yeah. lack of a response. I do have a list of roofers that I will I will give That'd to you, great. and yeah. you know with the town hall project we emailed the um, the architects whose names we'd gotten from the. Preservation Alliance, yeah. so that they knew where to go to look at the RFP. And now, we would I'd also be interested, guys. though, okay. in gathering our names of manufacturers of the roofing materials, because I think yeah. that was one of the areas that we kind of stumbled on with the metal, because right. yeah. we didn't have a list of five that we liked. Yeah. We didn't have any. Yeah, we so we threw it out there, because you know, we didn't have it. You know, yeah. I, I know I spent some time searching, but Tamco pops up everywhere. Yeah, we you know, looked at a few. <coughs> it is, yeah. We looked at a couple with the architects, and um, I don't think we came up with a preferred, but... Did yeah. you guys ever put that in any of your um, documentation, your minutes, as in what you were looking what, at? So we you know, I don't know. I've got one I've got one piece, uh, one ad that I can I can scan and send to you. Um, yeah, I think, I think just as important as and having there may be there may be some others, or maybe some of the other yeah. committee members would remember better. Well, I still have a, quite a few brochures for yeah. metal. Yeah, well, I'm thinking not, not so much even the installer as the manufacturer, so we have some, mm -hmm. so we can kind of take a look at, you know, this is better so the quality this of the product of doesn't compare apples right. to apples. Yeah, yeah. So that would be just as helpful as having the name of installers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, anything that we've, that we've generated, I'm happy to share with you guys. Yep. Appreciate that. Yeah. Can't do it alone. Um, the other thing I had on my list here was just to reiterate, we had a public meeting on Tuesday for Kelsey Road for the petition article, uh, petition by uh, Dave Mell. Uh, just for everybody's benefit, uh, the petition was denied. And, uh, we had a, a checklist to go through and 
criteria was not met to take and lay out an occasion of that road. So just an, an FYI for everybody. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's uh, was put to bed for the time being. All I got was your email saying, re, re, talk to me about this on Thursday. And I just looked through my emails, there's nothing else. They talked to you about this morning. I know, the a dollar amount, but you said I was going to get something in a quote? Yeah, you're supposed to get over here today. I didn't get anything. This, I'm, I only have your email. Because he called me late this afternoon. Yeah. He said the package had dropped off. Well, I wonder if it got dropped off from there. there. Anyways, they want to get an annual fire uh, alarm test at the Town Hall yesterday, and it's failed. It's out of service. The system's completely junked. So the town's got to put a fire alarm system in that building. ASAP. What system? Fire alarm. Fire alarm system. That system cannot be repaired. It's antiquated. There's no parts available. So you got to get a pan on that building. Like tomorrow. Maybe not tomorrow, but next week. Yeah, so tomorrow's going to be a little early. Huh? <coughs> he could work on it. The alarm company has put one on hold for us. Mm -hmm. uh, the basic panel is 1558. Just put a five zone panel in there. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can zone the floors off. Uh, there's a lot of features a new panel has that that thing doesn't have. It's basically the same panel we just put in the fire station. That's a 10 zone panel, which costs more because we have more zones. We have police station, fire station bays, right. appliances over there. We could get by with five zone panels. So, you can get that, plug that in, be up and running. Do um, we have a grand total cost? I mean, well, obviously that's, this package is supposed mm -hmm. to be here. Nothing mm -hmm. It's probably sitting over in your office, huh? Most oh, right. no, he called me last afternoon. Did it go so, to the library, maybe? Yeah, maybe she did. Oh, that's true. Uh, she did. Anyway. Anyways. <laughs> but there will be additional cost because there know, there's a couple of smoke detectors that we know need to be replaced in they're like sixty dollar pop. There's a full station and a and a strobe light by the bathroom that doesn't work for quite a while. So obviously those things need to be addressed. Hey, uh, Brian, yeah. in that um, MOU, so, we haven't met with the library folks yet, mm -hmm. but um, that's coming up later this month. But um, and I don't have it with me, um, so I don't know even like in the old documentation who had responsibility for the fire alarm over there. I mean, it's part of the building, so I think as a tenant, I think it makes it us. But All right, that's yeah, I think it's but always. I, but I'm not. But I'm <laughs> not sure how they saw it in the past. I think, well, I think it's always been part of our budget. Maybe yeah, it probably is. But yeah, yeah. Just the library. It is. I yeah. They pay for the inspection. They pay for the inspection. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. For their inspection. Yeah. But we didn't want to. But we're always repairing that. I have the. Hasn't been, hasn't been repaired in 50 years. It's so well dated. Did we yeah. put some smoke alarms in over there? Are they high wired right. into this thing? Yeah. 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 It's a regular system. Yeah. It's just it's old. Yeah. No, I, I'm, uh, I'm like I said, but you, the building's unprotected. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. It stands tonight. So, you know, something needs to be addressed. Yep. No, I know. Obviously, you know, I understand it's a money issue, but, uh, you know, I, like I said, that panel is unrepairable. So there's nothing we can patch up. To get by, um, and really, fifteen hundred dollars for me, state of the art panel isn't, uh, isn't really bad. Cool. Yeah. 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 It's less than two thousand dollars, but for everything. I think she has it over here. If it's not here, then must have got. I didn't see it at all. He didn't call me until late this afternoon. Tonight. I mean, you're not looking at like you know five or ten thousand dollars type of work. Are you? No, no. A couple detectives, or like you told me, I think they're sixty. Um, well, the two upstairs, I'd already given the go ahead. He's going to work out a schedule with you to get to the ones he couldn't reach. And that was like two hundred and sixty-eight dollars to do those. Yeah, but it, I don't. I haven't seen a bill, and I haven't. He heard. said you have it over here. 
your quote, his quote. I have a quote, and I said, go ahead and do it. And he said, I'll, he would get in touch with you and schedule something, because he doesn't have the ladders to get up there. Yeah, I've met with him because we got to move the detector because you got to be a monkey to jump up. Get to the one that's over the stairways. So that was going to be moved. But uh, there's been some out there that need to be repaired. But, you know, I was hoping the pack would see it because uh, so I can get a little better price on it. But, you know, I would just talking to them, I'd say it's less than $2,000 to get everything up and going. And then the other side is you're going to have to monitor the company. Currently, Concord Fireline monitors that mm -hmm. at a fairly low rate. But they don't offer that anymore. They cannot monitor new equipment. They don't have the technology. They have antiquated equipment. It's fire alarms. They don't want to spend the money. They're not in the alarm business. They want to get out of it. So they're glad to see when stuff like this happens. Yeah, because then that's like two vessels set. See you later, bye. Yeah, that's what we did at the fire station. So you go to a monitoring company like Central Alarm. Who is monitoring the fire station now? Central Alarm. Ours? Central Alarm Company that monitors that falls through this alarm company, but that's what monitors. So that's the name of the company, Central Alarm. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the other one was Concord Alarm. Right? We had Fire Alarm. Yeah. Concord Fire Alarm used to monitor. Gotcha. Now the company Central Alarm, which is a company. You gotta get a scorecard, man. Yeah. <laughs> is that the same? Is that there a different are, company just, from yeah, the All Star? Right. He He's just the them. manufacturer. He works with them. Right. They monitor for him because he can't. So now them. we're gonna have an extra monthly charge. Exactly. And he's going to put it in with the town package because mm -hmm. the police department was always on it. Mm -hmm. They've been doing it right along. Woody's on it at the transfer station. Yes. That's who wanted the transfer station. Mm -hmm. So he grouped, he gave us a deal yep. when we put the fire station and the police department together because we're basically the same system. Mm -hmm. uh, and he said he'd do the same for the town hall. He'd do some kind of discount. Do you have enough idea what that cost is? Just for uh, um, Right now, I think mine's like 167 a year. 70 a year? A year. A year. No, a year. a year. I pay one yearly fee. Yeah, I think the police and fire together was going to be like 400 and we're going to spread something like that. But it's pretty reasonable. Really. Yeah. 24 hour coverage of yep. the system. Well, um, just, well, just because budget's coming up, we got to start thinking about putting that line item in there. Exactly. I'm going to add it to my budget this year because I don't well, have to Maybe we just ought to put it one together. Is, you know, I'm just thinking out loud yeah. here. I'm not saying it's going to happen. It's just thinking out loud. Instead of having it in everybody's individual budget, just have a fire alarm line item in, under general government buildings yeah. that covers everybody that's being covered yeah. by these because, folks. Yeah, because like I said, I, this would be the first time I'd have to have well, a we'd all be under, We must have a contract in place and some for that. Service agreement, probably. Service agreement. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, would, I would agree that one... I mean, because otherwise, uh, you start having all these different ones around. I mean, it'd be easy just to take and write them one check a month. Yeah. For everybody. Yeah. Once, a once a year. Once a year. Once a year, whatever. whatever. Once a year. And then, I, like, for me, in my budget, mm -hmm. it's on the fees and services. Mm -hmm. Really? His, is. his um, fee is in there for monitoring. Mm -hmm. Then he comes once a year, just about this time, and he comes in and does an inspection of my system, right. and he sends us a report back, and I put it in the file. No, I, I, that's great. Yeah. I mean, that's no, great. no, but I'm just yeah. trying to give you up. That's it's in my line as that. That's that's a separate uh, cost. The inspection annual. Yes, inspection. the inspection's yeah. like uh, like a hundred bucks, mm -hmm. and then it's a hundred and right now I'm paying. I think it's one sixty seven. My wife says thinks it's going up to like one ninety something. But I mean, if we have your building, we have the fire, we have yeah. the police, we have the town hall, and maybe eventually this building. I mean, if it's all under one lump sum, yeah. you know. Have a line item for the, the fire alarm service, the inspections, the yep. fire extinguishers. So it's all into one category, so we can keep track of it. Right. And it's better tracking. <coughs> and uh, it also doesn't plug up your budgets with a bunch yep. of extraneous stuff. And you know, and all of a sudden your price goes up and yours goes down, and stuff we wouldn't be able to tell. At least right. this way, it's all front and center. It's a lot easier for us to take and keep an eye on it. I think, and it's just less stuff you got to deal with in that hassle. Right. And I think the chief would probably agree that. You know, Guys should be looking at mm -hmm. putting something in that highway garage because yeah, they got enough to do Actually, this system ought to be updated here. The warrant is this because mm -hmm. I think you're getting a deal here because we really don't know who we're going to fly here. You know, we pulled the fire alarm last year to see if anything was going to happen. Yeah. yeah. Somebody did call. <laughs> Dispatch. 
so mm -hmm. somebody monitors it, but you don't pay a fee. Bill <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. well, Zelda's watching. <laughs> 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 Yeah, right. I'm saying someday you're going to get a bill. Yeah. <laughs> so, and it's not, you know, it's, it's into that little. Yeah. It doesn't really have a panel yet. Mm -hmm. It's through that. Yeah. You know, fertile line panel. You know, right. Yeah. That's, That's what I have. You know, that system like this. Mm -hmm. My mind, when it comes up, it tells you what zone it is. It'll show up fire, show you the zone. I mean, my building's pretty basic. Yeah. But that's an old panel. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know, Oh, it's yellow in color. I'm still white. You know, unfortunately, it's something that's happened, and, and we don't know because it's how long it's been down. Uh, because that system, our system at the fire station did a daily test mm -hmm. of iron, so they knew if something was up. This system was never set up that way. Okay. So, when he was there yesterday, <coughs> they called me in a panic. Fire alarm did, and he did, fiber, and da da da. We tried to do some research, see when the last time we did the test. Yesterday being a holiday, the superintendent firing was off on holiday, we had to get a whole ham, that, that. anyways, long story short, it, it doesn't send a daily test firing. So we don't know how long that system's been down. Mm -hmm. We did have an activation there, mm -hmm. it was a couple months ago, uh, yeah. when he was actually there doing something, mm -hmm. they had sent it through. So, uh, you know, advantage of a new system is it does a daily test, so they, they don't get the test. They notify us that something's down with the system. So, yeah, there's gotcha. benefits for it. It's addressable. There's different things we can do with the system we can't do with the old system. Mm -hmm. And the school's going to be in the same boat. I tried to tell Jeff Trucks and those people over there. Their system is the same thing. Just a bigger version of ours. They're all put in at the same time period. And it's a nightmare for us when we go to the school over there. It's just crazy. So, they're going to be in the same boat. They're gonna, that's going to be a major cost over there. That's a big well, building. They wouldn't keep that their line. Big they're panel. Line. <laughs> yeah, so they're going to be in the same boat. It's the same <laughs> yeah. panel. It's the same technology. It's everything. It's yeah. a lot of crap so that's gone. And that goes through the concrete pile. And they monitor that. For that. So um, it's the same type of deal. But like I said, this thing is unrepairable. So we, you know, we need to get it mm -hmm. protected against. Well. You know, I wish I had better hard figure for you, but mm. I mean, fifteen fifty eight was a hard figure yesterday for the panel. Yeah, that includes installation. Do we know what we have in general building buildings? I can do a report real quick. Would you please? Yes, please. Just so we don't take it. Yes. Okay, in your basket or anything. Well, the impression I got the tools here, the fact that it's here. Yeah. 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 Maybe six months ago, about 911, did all the, you know, went through and did the maps yeah. and all the stuff. We approved it. Yeah. If I remember correctly, you said there was a, uh, a report that had a number of recommendations. Yes, we do have that. Did you ever go through that yet? Uh, I have. So. Uh, yes, I know. I know you said someone will come back to us yeah. with your recommendations of yeah. those recommendations. Yeah. So. Yeah, we get, I can come back with you and we can sit down and decide there's some. Suggestions that they have that are mm -hmm. good. There's some suggestions that you probably want to do. Right. It's a major number, but there are a few addresses in town that need to be changed. <coughs> you know, according to them, and yep. you know, we agree with them. That's so, not. I understand. You know, it's going to be hot burn for those people, but you know, it's a public safety issue. They've exactly. had a bad number, and how it got that way. It, it, the biggest run is is old Fort Wayne. Mm -hmm. That it's, it's opposite than the whole town. The evens are on the wrong side of the road. Yeah, you know, just imagine how that happened. I can just imagine how that you know, happened. Unfortunately, it was a selectman that decided to renumber that road, or number the road. He did it backwards in the rest of the town. Oh, well, so, my time. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, that was one of their flags. They said, you know, you got a road town, he was on the wrong side of the road. Everybody in that development have to change it, huh? You know, the phone is ringing off the hook. I don't but, it. you know, be consistent. Yeah. You know, I wish I was around when they renumbered uh, Stark Highway, because it had been one number. One start in Gostown, go to Hawking, and I go to the Tejas Corner. Instead of having north and south, we have more issues 
from the stock highway, north and south, getting the numbers confused. The duplicate numbers, doesn't even matter. I mean, the hand sign on one is supposed to, it's a little bit better because they see that number when it comes up. Right. But we have people that tell them that they're south and they're really north. Yeah. We had a chimney fire down in Mill Hill. The guy was went tell him nine on one. He lives in Stark Highway South. He lives in Stark Highway North. We just can't because of this chimney fire. They're looking at the screen saying, "No, you live in Stark Highway North." He says, "No, I live in South." So you know he has a resident that's even. Where does it change? <laughs> Where does it change? Right here in the it, center. Center. It's like Main Street and Concord. You got South Main. You got North Main. North State, South State Street, Concord. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Do you want a copy of the budget? I don't need the whole edges. Anyways, in case you want to read it. In the next line is just the goes. very bottom that shows the bottom. Oh, in this that, one yeah. in that group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. well, right now we have 6,633 in town building maintenance improvements. 28 total. 6,001? 6,633. Is that minus out my stuff, Liam? I do. Um, what did you have I've to do? Well, I handed you uh, a quote last week that was in the bucket. Did you repay it yet? Nope. He's coming Monday. That it was only forward. like a couple hundred bucks. Right. right. But then I have all my other stuff that I still am waiting. I've contacted seven contractors that have two quotes. Four. The Slackman wanted for all my building repairs. Okay. And I have the Slackman said that two quotes, uh, two or three meetings ago, two quotes wasn't good enough. So now I'm still yeah, waiting for contracts. Yeah. With a couple of minutes ago. But well, it doesn't matter. You haven't spent that money. No, but I plan on spending it. Well, you're not going to spend it until you come and talk to us. But we budgeted the money, and I plan on spending the money. You're not going to spend the money until you come and talk to us and show us what the yeah, I'm, I'm going to bring in a quote, okay. obviously. But, but there's, there's a difference between fixing a piece of siding or something and having to replace okay. this is an emergency. Maybe I could get Dave Stilson to give me a price then. I don't know. I, I can't get anyone else to give me prices. Don't do it. That's part of the, the, the big problem. Did right. you call Keith and, and I've Tim called, Durrani? I've, only, I've called majority of the contractors in town. Here? And I only got two prices back. One was from Keith. Yep. One was from Keith. The second one was from Brian. Keith the boy. Keep 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 the Numbers. I think it's around 4,000. There's a bunch of, there's two doors that need to be replaced because they're rotted out. One of them, the whole bottom section of the door is missing. Well, when we put this off, we put the money last year, I, I said not to spend it. You we put it in for this you year. Can overspend those lines. Sorry? You can overspend that. Yeah, you could. You're going to have half of that generator bill, too. Right? You're taking half the generator bill on it, too? Right, that was, like, that was like 500 bucks, right? Yeah, 600. 600. Yeah. 11 is a change. Right. Did we already get the bill for that? No. They just inspected it last week? They just did the work that one. Right. So you got I haven't opened the other two bids because I want to be fair to anyone else. They're in my desk. I haven't opened anything. Well, let's see if they can be itemized because you, know, you may not be able to get all your work done. Let's be fair, you know, because this is unforeseen. Yeah, we also just took in thirteen thousand dollars, too. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying, but why would we skip on fixing one thing? We could take the tax out rates again. also going up. How much? You know? <laughs> so I mean, <coughs> is it? bring your bring your numbers to us and come talk yeah. to us. You know, no, saying, I wouldn't do it without talking to you. Right. I'm not saying that it's going to be you know forget about it. I'm just saying you know we have to, but we need to take care of what yeah. John's oh, talking about. Oh, I get that. What are you doing? Well, I'll make a motion that we get the panel in ASAP. Yeah. For John's. Yeah, I don't think we have a choice right. anyway. So. It's not mine. Chris, <laughs> um, no, for your direction. <laughs> no, 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 not your panel, it's for your direction. Yeah, yeah, you right. I, mean, I don't know if that was created. Uh, you know, knowing that it's not working, we're not yeah. moving on it. 
Um, I don't know if, if something were to happen to the building, what would the insurance company, you know, what would their position be on it? Um, we, it's not like we can just plop them in on tomorrow. No, I know that, but I'm just saying if we took no action. Yeah. I mean, at least if you're... No, we got to take action. ...in queue to repair it. Absolutely. So I make motion that we uh, take him, bite the bullet, and uh, get the, the panels that, you know, per John's recommendation, or yeah. the folks that he's working with, and get it taken care of. Well, I can call him tomorrow, and he can... Because he's got one on hold at the warehouse. It's the only one he has on. Five zone is isn't very popular, so... They are popular? They're not, because most people use more than buy zones, so yeah. that's why it's one thing the price is down, plus they only have one in stock. So, so they're clearing yeah, up the story. Yeah. If we give them the word tomorrow, he can stop can get in Monday. Will they take coupons? <laughs> Green stamps. <laughs> yeah, I think we can look one up, yeah. Yeah, I remember doing that as a kid. Yeah. But again, what do you don't, you know, don't fret. We're not saying you can't oh, get stuff done, done, but, you know, get the accord stuff and then come see us, because we may have to take it and triage it a little bit, just and then put it off some to next year as well. You know, so we can take and do the worst of, the stuff that's the worst of your repairs and work on that and stuff that might be able to take and handle for another year. My, my only concern when I say that is, I guess seeing what we've been doing over the years for building maintenance, I mean, mm -hmm. two years now we've been gonna paint the highway garage. Mm -hmm. And, and that's part of this money. Right, obviously that's not gonna done. happen this year, yeah. correct? So we're not gonna do, we're starting on the second year and maintenance on other, eventually, we're going to have to bite the bullet and spend some serious money because we keep putting the building maintenance on. You know, you got this yep. ton, uh, this brought up yeah. probably $8,000, $10,000 per yeah, yeah, day. Yeah. You're going to have a, a $90,000 building repair fund that you're not going to want to bring to the tax base because we right. keep putting everything off. And eventually, mm -hmm. that 90000 is going to cost you more because every year you let it sit. Like you guys said, what if nobody's friends. So. Not to be mad at that. No, no, I'm just saying. No, I'm with you. Yeah, not debating that, but I mean... You know, I mean, I think the taxpayers will not be offended if you took a little piece of that pie and mm -hmm. just got in, did your, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. and did some of their maintenance stuff, and then it's done. Because next year, you're going to have something else, you know? You have something else, you have something else. Well, let's, say, let's see what your yep. numbers are, and we can we can work with you on that. But yep. yeah, at this point in time, that's the priority. No, and I get that. That is a priority. I get that. Yeah, and, and as far as your work, I don't know what the whole list is, but... I would prioritize that too, and you know, you know better than any of us yes. what what's you know <coughs> failing first. And a door sounds like a pretty important item. So and there's like that much missing. Yeah. <laughs> Is that one of the overhead doors? No, it's a door to a building that has heat in it that we don't have the heat on. So. Yeah, it's rats. Yeah, yeah. Where do you have quotes from? Keith and Keith. That's Keith Lavoy and Keith Saint Pierre. Oh, I was gonna say. Huh? I've contacted. Uh, I can't remember now. Uh, there's a, a bunch of guys here in town. Tim Tarani. Yep. I talked to Tim Langley. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to a couple guys out of town. Okay. Okay. Another guy down in Gorham Pond. I can't remember his name. I talked to him. Huh? Well, I said, oh, yeah, I'll talk to him. I got a couple others. I'm going to yep. talk to Eric Hodgman. I'm going to try to mm -hmm. spread out to some guys that don't get any work in town that maybe they like some work in town. So the prices are reasonable. Uh, yeah. I don't want a problem with that. Not at all. What kind of, what are they looking, you don't know what they want to do that door that you're talking about. I didn't, I yeah, haven't opened it. anything. I left yep. it, gave it to me in sealed envelopes. I left them in sealed envelopes that's and put them in the desk. Yep. Is that a metal door that's going up there, Woody, or is it a, uh, you know, what either metal or fiberglass. Yeah. Actually, they've been yeah. suggesting the fiberglass door. Really? Yep. Well, you just look good in the day, John. Anything oh, else? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hey, that's oh, this boy, Monday, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're just general, just, you know, come in and just walk around, or you have stuff like kids or whatnot? Yeah, well, stuff out, laid out, fire prevention, some tables, mm -hmm. uh, oh, cool. displays. So, nice. Can we have a bell? Sure. Sit in the truck, call the sun. Yeah, ring the bell. Yeah. Yeah. I bring the grandkids, they'll have fun with that. I grew up across the street from the fire station when I was a kid. You spent a lot of time over there. Yeah, I bet. Look forward to that. In fact, I got so used to it that when that alarm would go off, there were them big, you know, air horns on the yeah. building. Slip right through it. Yeah, you used to right across the street. Yeah, we have it.
but I'll second the motion for the um, replacement of the uh, system. I know we've had a plenty of discussion already. Is there any other discussion for that motion? Hearing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Joe, you said that was 7 o'clock? Yes. For whatever reason, I have it. Oh, I'm getting the word out for some reason. I'm just going to put it on the marquee out here. I tried to, but I didn't see it was there today, so I called again today to see what. She yeah. was out there today. Was she out there today? Yeah, I, don't, I couldn't see what she was putting up, but. I called her because it was supposed to come up. Who'd you call? Debbie. Oh, okay, because, um... Heidi? No. No, it's, um... Yes. She was down there. Uh, Sue Bracey. Sue Bracey. Sue Bracey. Yeah. Just give her a call and she'll get it up there. I can send her an email tomorrow. Well, with the school one, I mean, would they think they'd be kind enough to take and put that up there for a short period of time? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm sure, because they did five minutes. Do they got nothing else special? It's on the web page, but only under the calendar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I'll put it on the home page. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, he tried or something. Or, you know, access he put it on the calendar last week, but again, how to use the calendar to find it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah, put it on the page. Got to get the email list from all the different um, committees and boards and whatnot. You can probably get sent out a mass email to probably you know at least a good chunk of the town. Yeah, yeah. a possibility. Did we get a second motion? Yes, we said yeah, we voted. Did. Oh, you did? Yeah, we voted. Yep. It's, uh, okay. Yeah. You're going to call tomorrow? What's that? You're going to call yes, uh, I will. Rick? Rich? Rich. I think Rich. you can call. Uh, hopefully, we'll have something up and running before long. Yeah, you, like you said, you think she can get it in on. Beautiful. You could. Yeah. He had an already previous job for tomorrow, but. It said if Dad did back out and move the game through, we could maybe get it done. Beautiful. Okay. In the meantime, we don't have to shut down the library or anything. We good with it? No, we've been all around the doctor, and she knows, you know, she didn't have to call the line. Keep the fire watching. Actually, the, the yeah. security family, if she, if she pushed fire on that, it would dial through to the other line. So, I mean, okay. So it's not like, you know, as long as there's someone there, they know what to do. Right? Exactly. Good. Thank you. Probably, you know, hopefully it never happened, but... Yes, yeah, so we'll keep our fingers crossed that we'll be in good shape. I have nothing else on my agenda. Um, gentlemen? I do. No, I have um, another thing here. Um, what's our process for uh, right to know requests? When yeah. somebody wants a right What's to know, I know we have a form. We have a form. We don't have a policy. But is but who does that form go to, and then what happens to it after that? How does it get dispersed to who's in the action? Can I get the form? Sure. I don't think it's specific. It just right. asks for okay. a signature. Well, right, this is 99% of your rights and all the questions. No, I know. But I'm just wondering if we have a process that's being followed. Well, I know when I went to the, we uh, that's Maybe we don't even need one. Well, the municipal um, training that I went to back in yeah. May or whatever, yeah. April, May. That was one of the things they stressed was that we should have a right to know policy. So it spells out, or in this case, a process, if you want to call it that. Yeah, it spells out when, you know, when it's asked for. You know, a right to know request is a form or some type of request documentation and who it goes to, you know, who's going to respond, who's... It spells the whole thing out, and that way there's no missing answer buts and no... On it, on that website, do they have like a uh, boilerplate? You know? I don't know. Well, it was a municipal association, so they might have some suggestion. Okay. We did adopt the form, and the town attorney met with the board back in, I want to say it was 2009, 2008 or 9. So they provided us with a right to know guide and a form. But on the mm -hmm. form, it says to be completed by town officials, so it really isn't any. So it could be anybody, any of us. That's what it looks like. Just it could be. Yeah. Now this form that we have here, Lee, that says Dunbarton on it, so is it our form to modify? It's, yes, because the town attorney gave us the template and then we added our the header. This is an RSA reference there too. Yeah, it's not there. Mm -hmm refers to, you know, what 
puts a loan on the back. Be, I would say 91, right? Yeah, yeah 91A. Yeah, maybe if we just incorporated this into, you know, by reference or something. So by policy, you want to make, you want to refine where it goes to? And yeah, I mean, that's really kind of what I was thinking, because um, cause they get logged in, right? Yeah. When, when one of these comes in, they get logged. They get stamped I, and logged. They get stamped, yeah. and they get distributed to the individual it applies to. Yeah. Then they get returned to me, and once they're completed... They get filed away. But, so, but that's so. if it goes to you, but it could come to any of us because it says town official. Yeah. So if it came to any one of us, you'd never see this, possibly. Yeah. So it wouldn't get logged in. So we aren't really tracking every one of these that comes in. No, I that, know, That's I all I was really kind of asking about. I, that's why sure. I know what's the process you know, when, some, when one of these comes in. I mean, it could go to anybody that's a town official. Mm -hmm. To me, that just seemed a little broad. This, yeah, very generic. Yeah. And that's why I would suggest it would go to um, town administrator for you know recording and then distribution, yeah. and then back to you yeah. to make sure that the requirements have been met, yeah. mm -hmm. and then off to the requester. Otherwise, mm -hmm. if you're leaving it up to my interpretation, it's not may not be you know the same as yours, but it's probably going to be better. Because you do these kind of things more often. That's mm -hmm. all. Speaking of policies, just as a quick thing, as I've been reading that um, Municipal Association book there about financial policies. Yeah. There's a lot of information that we probably ought to adhere to that we don't. Especially dealing with the public's money. I'll put together some notes. This uh, Municipal Association puts out a book about gay theft. Actually, I think we've got it right here. Basic financial policies. What a lot of good information in there as far as stuff that we don't. Yes. We may do by just the, the process that we follow ourselves, but there's nothing codified in it. So, you know, say Allison, you retire or, or leave or whatever, and you're doing something and Lean isn't aware of it. You have the institutional knowledge and we may be doing it properly, but if someone else comes in and be like, what's going on? Where is it? They're saying, you know, set up the policies and procedures so that way anybody comes in brand new can take and just read them and have. I think every position should have that stuff. Exactly. But I mean, because start with the money. The department, the town administrator, Absolutely. me, everybody. Absolutely. But I mean, we start with the money and then work yeah. broaden our horizons from there. Because yeah. the money is, you know, what it's going to hang us one way or the other. So that's what. This has a lot of good information. It actually has a CD in the back that we can actually pull off templates and stuff. A CD, what's that? <laughs> can, you put, can you put that in, in your computer still? I don't think I can. I don't, I think, can, it uh, I don't think it has a slot for it. Yeah, wait a while, I'll take it out. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so I mean, this this is good, but I, I just think that um, if, if it, the only change I would suggest to this thing here is that it would be, that it would pass through the administration office for recording and distribution. And then we had a cover sheet with like a checklist, you know. And then make sure that, you know, you know, that person would make sure that we've met the requirements mm -hmm. and then pass along. Because yeah. otherwise, it, you know, uh, it, you could, you're going to get inconsistencies. That's all. Yeah. Put 
on the to-do list, I guess. To-do list, yeah. Um, we have a meeting scheduled with um, the uh, uh, these folks here, Visual, uh, Virtual Town and uh, Schools. Mm -hmm. I scheduled that for December 3rd. December 3rd. And I asked um, the gentleman to be here for 7.30. He said he would be here early to set up. He's going to need a screen to show, so I figured that wall might work. You want me to come on from 7.30? Yeah. No, it's just um, Virtual, oh yeah, Ted over here. Virtual Towns and Schools is a supplier of um, web pages for towns. And um, in my research for the school district, I found um, that a lot of the surrounding towns are using this supply. Um, Auburn and a couple of others locally have just gone live with them, and I've uh, been on their websites, and um, it's it's pretty. Uh